actually was offered by Rifa by Rihanna when I met her at some coffee shop in Amsterdam. Oh, let's be honest. She smelled like musky vanilla who's been roasting under the sun. Oh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I've never met Rihanna. I mean, she's hot, but... So hi guys, guess what I did? I was so desperate to find Target. Everything I saw in Europe was like Ikea. So my first week I got back, I definitely had to go to Target. Target! Where are deal at? Oh, no, just kidding. But if I were sponsored by Target, I would like a lifetime supply of toilet paper and paper towels. I mean, that's all I originally go there by. But you know how it is to get distracted. It's kind of like a married man walking through the red light district and getting distracted by a $50 girl. I mean, everybody's happy at the end. Hence, happy ending. <laughs> no, just kidding. I had to get my fix of Target because I miss it so much. I got a love, Signola. I ended up with a broke wallet and some tequila in my cup. <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to do a couple of cozy fall Target shopping. I feel it's necessary because when I was in Europe, I didn't bring any like cozy, kind of like warm jackets and I didn't know how hella cold y'all people live. I mean, my cousin did warn me that it was like tremendously cold there, but she's like a bad weather girl. So I bought like shirts and like thin clothing and I thought I would, you know, be racking out a, a V-neck shirt with a slight clavage and like wear shorts and a skirt, but no. I mean, if you like your nipples to freeze and fall off, I mean, 40 degree weather. Oh, you know, I didn't expect the cold weather there. So what I did is I walked inside an H&M, got myself a whole bunch of like Eskimo jackets. And I noticed on my receipt that they had a 30 day return. I kept all the tags on my jacket and I wore it all throughout my European trip. I mean, can I toot my smart shopper horn? Toot toot. So before I show you guys what I got from Target, I wanted to show you what I actually ordered when I was in Germany. So I've been shopping around for some authentic like suede boots and I finally found one. Um, I actually got these boots on choice.com. I got them when they were on sale for like a hundred bucks, which is amazing. So this is the suede boots. It's like four inches tall and they're really, really comfortable because they have like a platform on them. I wore it every time my aunt wanted to go clubbing in the casino. Those German men are like into Asian persuasion. I mean, it's okay, but why is it always the rich grandpa type? And what sometimes we just like talk to you and you'd be like so uninterested. Uh-huh, uh, wah, was? And they still insist to talk to you in German and you're like, dude, shoe. Speaking of shoe, they're actually thigh highs which is you have to be very careful when you're short, five feet tall like me. So uh, make sure you wear the shortest skirt you own. No, you don't have to wear short skirts, but um, you can wear it with like jeans or tights. They're super cute. Oh, and speaking of skirts, actually my brother and I stumbled upon Anne Frank's house, which was in Amsterdam in Holland. I was not only intrigued by the history of the Anne Frank house, but um, there was this one particular photo I saw of her. She was wearing this like, you know, kind of like a school outfit. Of course, that's what I had to look at, the outfit. And it has to be the schoolgirl outfit that she was wearing was so cute. She was wearing this actually really cute skirt in the photo, and I decided to get on the plaid skirt bandwagon. Girl, now I know why you was in hiding. And this is a plaid skirt that I got from um, a really, really like inexpensive store that's kind of like a, a Forever 21, but less. Um, poor quality. Um, it, it's a store called Primark. It was actually really inexpensive. I believe it was like 10 euros or something, no less. I think it would be really cute with just like some tights and a turtleneck. I thought it was so cute. So actually my haul is inspired by um, the different eclectic Europeans I saw. So I was inspired by the Russian fur and we know we can't afford fur. So we bought some Target fur. I saw this fur vest at Target. It's so soft like a multi poo. And this is like my color for fall right now, which is like a maroonish red. It's a vest, it's knitted at the back. So these are gonna be cute, which is like some jeans. So I got another fur item. So this is kind of like a, a fur kind of like collar thingy slash scarf. It's like a dead animal that just kind of lays right here. <laughs> I mean, you have to suffer a little bit with allergies, but it's super warm around your neck and um, it actually comes in different colors, which I want to get the light gray one, but I got this dark one because I thought it would look great like if you were black. Mm -hmm. All right, so the next cozy winter gear. Um, I got this poncho that's kind of like a cowl neck. Actually, I used to always see my mom wearing ponchos when I was a kid. I thought it was just something like old people would wear. So 
I got one for myself. It's actually really cute and it's really warm. They're really cute with like tights and like boots. Oh, I actually got kind of like a suede item, which is this dress. And I love the doily design at the bottom. Oh, I went to like a doily um, tapestry. Is it the grandma in me? I just love doilies. Doilies are like toilet paper. I mean, they're just so useful. Placemats or like decorative table settings. Okay, I'll stop. I mean, entered over Mossimo. So these are like the knee high ones which I believe are called the Armands. Um, this is the cognac color. It's got like a faux zipper. And they're flat and they're really, really comfortable because they're light and they don't make your calves sweat. Okay, so last but not least is probably my most favorite purchase. I got this lamb suit, just like um, a, a PJ set. Here's what it looks like. It's got the material of like microfiber and they are so cozy my dad used to own like um uh, a sheep fest which i thought was like the most hideous grandpa-ish thing but after this soul sourcing trip i've learned that you do take on after your parents so i got myself um a hoodie <laughs> have a date coming over tonight call his ass an uber because you just want to snuggle up with this all right you guys that is all of my haul thank you guys so much for watching i so miss these haul videos because i get to shop and spend money and regret it thank you guys for all of your sweet comments on my last video i totally appreciate it it's those kinds of comments that make me feel good about okay I can keep doing this. Don't feel offended if I don't reply to your comments. Trust me, I read every single one of them and um, the only best way for me to reply is to just say thank you guys so much for all of your sweet comments. I really, really appreciate it. Oh, and I also wanted to tell you guys, um, well, I kind of fucked up today. I was supposed to upload today, but um, I'm gonna be uploading from every Monday and Friday from now on. So I will see you guys on those days. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.